Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's strawy bout between Mackenzie Dern versus Angela Hill. And how I feel about this one right here, I'm going average confidence Mackenzie Dern to be Angela Hill. And um, is it really a logical win pick? I would say logically it seemed like Angela Hill should, well, is that even logical? No, that's not logical. But I feel it seemed like this is the spot Angela Hill should win in. We kind of just kind of trying to trim it a little bit. Well, she is 38. She is 30. Like, eh, trim that off. Like, let's assume they're the same age. Angela Hill's technical offense has been improving at least for the most part over these, you know, since she returned to the UFC. Now she's been returned for a couple years now. You know, I think she got like a high 70% takedown offense ratio. And um, McKenzie Dern's takedown defense, takedown offense ratio is like 30%, probably like one of the worst in UFC history and one of the worst actively. No matter how he cut one, it's one of the worst takedown accuracy in all of MMA. And she seemingly needs to get this fight to the ground. She does have five rounds to work with. But it seemed like a fight Angela Hill should win by a uh, decision. But the biggest glaring thing that leaves me, I said, well, I'm talking like, why well, I say that was something that leaves me. <laughs> like, what are you, a Jimmy Neutron character? <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> yeah. The biggest thing that leads me to um, Mackenzie Dern is the fact that Angela Hill has literally lost, like, every person top 15. She's for all the top 15, basically, but she has lost all top 15. And that seems to be her um, her pattern. She loses to all top 15. Like, you know, give her to Cody. Like, yeah, you ain't ranked. You were okay. What, you a victor champion? You you, uh, you all right. I'll dog you. Give me Lupita Gardenas. You looking like a good prospect. I'll dog you. Give me that. <laughs> but top 15. I'll lose a close decision to you. I'll get held down. Yeah, I'll lose to you. Yeah, top thing. That, that's that's right. Word. She even got a bargain brand, bargain value um, chance to fight Tisha Torres the second time. Like, she had all this improvement. Tisha Torres had, for the most part, plateaued and was just kind of getting a little bit of bit of her steps back, and she still lost her. Like, she had a chance to fight a, you know, you know get one of her, her L's back and get a win on her opponent. Like, that wasn't her best value, but she like, Hey, if you were ever good or anything at any point in your career, you know, you were ever an upper echelon fighter, even if I'm getting you at a bargain brand, a bargain value or getting you at value, I will still lose you. I got Gadelia when she's like walking into retirement, still lost her. Close fight. You could argue she won that fight. You could argue she beat Michelle Ward. I feel she beat Michelle Watson. Would not. You could argue she beat Amanda Limbos. I feel she beat Limbos, but no matter how you cut it, whether she she chokes and fumbles or the judges is like, yeah, I don't, I'm not feeling you. In these big top 10, 15 fights, she loses every single time. It's just a track record. Like she's like 0 and 15. I'm gonna say that's not the exact record, but it might as well be 0 and 15. So like that's the biggest thing. Like somebody fool me once, fool me twice, fool me 15 times, let it rain on you. <laughs> like fool me 15 times, let me, let it rain on you for sure. So I just gotta fade um Angela Hill here. She like this terrible in this spot, and she's 38. And, like she's 30. Matter of fact, even if she was 30, that'd be a bad. And you lost 15 times and like damn near 15 times in this spot. I don't care how young you. I don't care if you twenty. Let it spit. I don't care if you twenty three years old. That's still a a red flag. So I'm going with Kenzie Dern. I feel like Angela Hill gonna look good until she doesn't look good. I feel like she's gonna slip or she's gonna start feeling herself too much. And then um, McKenzie Dern gonna be the drag her to the mat. And then when she's gonna ground, she's gonna slide through like butter. Probably snatch her arm or snatch her limb and tap her out third round. So I'm leaving third round sub for McKenzie Dern. And also a good shine of gleaming hope for McKenzie Dern as well is the fact that she did look pretty good against Jao Nan Yan. I think that's. As far as in a big fight for Mackenzie Dern on like a main event spot or, you know, you know, big spot like that for her, she lost. Like she lost, um, uh, not Manny, but she lost, well, she did lose to Manny, but that wasn't a different thing. I'm talking about whatever her name is, but the taller, um, Marina Rodriguez. She, she lost her and she looked good at some points on the ground, but I feel like she looked even better on her spots when she did get her opportunities to, to um, get um, Zhao Nan Yan to the ground. And I think she got like more takedowns than you. I think she got like two or three takedowns in that fight. Or at least two takedowns in one situation where she created like a scramble like situation, which got it on the mat against Zhao Nian. So she was able to get it to the ground more against Zhao Nian. And also for her chin wise, she was able to take the big shots of Zhao Nian. And we seen um we just seen Jessica Andrade get folded by her. So you know, um McKinney Dern got got adorable chin. And she got to need it. Like, you know, a 30% takedown defense, I mean accuracy, takedown accuracy is a grappler. You gotta have something like some iron chin to be able to compete at this level. And that's what she got. She got an iron chin. Terrible takedown offense, but an iron chin in a will to win. And I think that's what she'll need to get a victory over Angela Hill, be able to survive the storm or survive getting pattered up for like a round or two to create the opportunity to drag to the mat. And she got five rounds to work with. And I think she'll at some point in this five round fight, she'll at least get one opportunity, if not two, to get on the ground. And I think when, in one of those two opportunities, she will be able to seal it up and get Angela Hill out of there. So third round sub for Mackenzie Durham. So in this one, 
I got Mackenzie Dern via third round submission. 